Hey everyone, we are trying out the Twilight CT, CT deck that won New Zealand Nationals recently. And up against Blue Sun, which is not a match we expected to see and could be quite challenging. We have an Opus early, which would be nice. Um, aside from that, it's not that exciting a hand. So I think we throw it away. There we go. That's this is much better. Just hands down, so much better. So they're money up really quick. I leave HQ open. So we can pop this down, hit it once. Uh, let's get personal workshop down and host. Let's go with R&D interface so we don't give the game away too soon. Next turn, let's diesel and hit Opus a couple of times. Try and find an SMC so they can't rush something out like this. No SMC. So let's just money up instead. If they're not advancing it, it's not so bad. Well, suddenly things got worse. So Grindle, loads of money. I would nearly be tempted to fire at another quality time. And this isn't bad at all. So let's host. Rabbit hole. Uh, we can put down Beth. And we could host another R&D interface. Do we need this? Do we need this? <laughs> um, or we could just take money. Yeah, that's been political operative, maybe. Hopefully I don't regret that. It is a bit early days to be trashing it, but kind of hoping to <laughs> to get our other bits and pieces out first. So I think we just money up five clicks. It's pretty good. Um, so we should be able to do personal workshop rabbit hole and gain this, I believe. There's the oversight. No. Okay. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. Councilman is okay. We can set up a second workshop. So they may be failing pretty safe, but then again, we can just bypass with uh, the Nexus. And we can go for the R&D lock instead. 30 credits, it's gonna be difficult to vamp them. Okay. Um, I think we just try and host and then take plenty of money. Corporate sales team. No big surprise there. Another Nexus. Oh, that's funny.
Uh, these are all together. Yeah, SMC is much better. Appreciate it. Probably not useful. If they're going to tag us, yeah. Doesn't make a difference whether we have the Nexus or not. Right, so this is our turn to get moving then. Uh, let's do the R&D run. <laughs> it's always funny to use uh, Nexus for Enigma, so instead we'll just go Zoom. There's quite a few of these Nexus decks that don't actually pack Code Gate Breakers, it seems. C3, get an atlas, red tape, and architect. Okay, nothing too bad to deal with. Let's pretend the councilman just in case. So red tape and architect is two cards they've drawn, and we can get through either with the nexus. We can't get through both, however. So I think we go back to a setup turn. this down. Let's host another orange interface and just take some money. Bending pressure. So now we're looking for the vamp. Hit with a vamp and go through then for hopefully a lot cheaper. So we have Inti. It's really expensive though. So instead let's try and find breakers or something. Fem is good. Fem could be very useful. It's also really expensive for Architect, but it could be worse for us. Oops. That's fine. So are we giving them this? We need to draw Skadamon into the bin. And let's take money. So at least if we can find a pattern in their, their ice, we can take advantage of that. Grindle, uh, yeah, let's derise that. So now, unfortunately, we have to go through the correction process, <laughs> where they have to manually tick down 16 credits. So, was it four, right?
So and now we should go for the vamp. We can vamp, we can run this, we can run here. This has gotten incredibly messy. So they start their turn with 28 credits. And they paid two. I'm not going to split hairs. <laughs> so we need to have the lead by four, just so we can hit this. Is the Because we need to be able to vamp this and clear the tag. So we're going to leave them with one credit, and we're just going to the refinery to trash again. Yeah, I think we're slightly off with the math. Two credits to trash. So we have to leave them with some money. And we have four link, so we need to pay one into this. Then we pay 21. Ah, it's been a disaster. <laughs> Alternatively, we leave them have this and just go R&D instead. But we still need two credits for this. Yeah, we got this very wrong. Hmm. Well, we got this very, very wrong. Math is difficult. Okay, so they're going to get something off the top of R&D and they're going to be able to install from hand or archives. So they installed there. I think they're done. So we'll trash this and be a little sad about everything. Chrysium. Interesting. Some would argue that's the wrong server for it, especially in light of what's happened.
No, we're getting ah, another one. Not bad. Okay, I think we just money up again and lick our wounds after that disaster. So this is our breaker suite, which our lack of bro breaker suite. So Inti and Fem are our two breakers. Yeah, we can't do much about uh, their money anyway. So instead we're going to be femming something, which is a temporary fix only, really. Nice. And let's go with you. Feedback filter again, not much good to us. Okay, so some serious misplays. Uh, lack of familiarity with the deck, actually, because these are much good to us. So instead we'll be getting our Inti and Fem down. And then crying that we've uh, so little money. We've got a big architect here as well. So they're not sacking Architect at any point, and in fact they can't, so Fem on that mightn't be too bad. Okay, uh, let's just money and run R&D. In fact, let's put down Inti, money. It's going to be so expensive. Nine to get us through a firewall. In fact, I think we maybe just money up altogether. Just a Jackson. So they can't trash it but they can bounce it. It will, however, lose all of these things that they've invested in it. <laughs> a buddy of mine, Netrunner's greatest ever architect. Very true. Um, I think now we just go for the R&D lock. It's going to be very expensive, but uh, we can manage it. So, zoo through red tape. Architect, which we we can bypass actually. Might be the way to go. In fact, we can bypass this architect if we really need. So the Fem can just keep ticking away down. And we're going to go with uh, Hero Zoo instead. Get another RDI out. Beanstalk is good for them. Chrisium Grid. I will trash, I think, in case of vamping them again. And an Oversight AI. Okay, so nothing too great for us there. And now we look at what an admin can do for us. The answer is not much. No. Oh. And an Enigma. Okay.
so HQ pressure then. Get another oversight out. On the curtain wall this time. So there really is no consistency here, because this will be strength six if we don't break this. Hmm. Troubling times. Our last couple of cards. How exciting is that? SMC, we don't need any more, or clone ship, we don't need any more either. Um, we could always just poke HQ, see what kind of thing we're dealing with. And rather than spending a ton of money, I think we just click. Uh, actually, we'll bypass. And we get the Oaktown. So, kind of exactly what we hoped and imagined might happen. With so many that we didn't see on R&D, uh, there was always a good chance that uh, HQ would be a bit more kind to us. I think next turn we go R&D again. And just try and lock out this game then. We have five clicks as well, which is great. Beth is amazing at this stage. We still have another vamp coming to us, I believe. It's a bit late for it, but could do the job. Another patch. This is the mightiest architect I've ever seen, but we have a femme sitting and ticking away on personal workshop. So I think uh, I think you don't overly invest in it. So which is more expensive for us? I think we keep the element of surprise. So let's just run R and D. We can bypass the architect. Away. So I'm trying to keep one to click left just in case they have a sneaky snare or something that catches us off guard. So C4, which are Atlas, excellent. Curtain wall, which they can definitely afford to be using. And an oversight to go with it. And another curtain wall. Right. So curtain wall, oversight, curtain wall. Not bad. But at least now at six agenda points, we're really putting the pressure on him. So they drew curtain wall, they've just drawn oversight. And they're going to oversight that. So there's still one more curtain wall and then fresh cards. I think we take a look at what's in archives as well. Just to see what kind of thing we're dealing with. Negotiator. Interesting. Okay, uh, we can take some more credits. I don't think we'll need them. But just in case they decide to boost uh, the strength of this Nexus Trace on us, we don't want to get caught out. Tear through here and see four more cards, top of which should be Cardinal Wall if I've been keeping track of things, which I have. Corpus Alcine, and that'll do it. 
and an atlas as well. So thankfully they couldn't get going as quickly as they would like. Um, they were making tons of money. But we managed to keep the pressure up. And yeah, it was a good, efficient rig. Well, not efficient at all, actually. But uh, the Nexus really helped uh, matters. We had the FEM, just in case we ever had to go here. And yeah, that went pretty well. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll try this out again, I think, very soon.